Hey guys, following up from the last video, we did um, these four uh, chess pieces, one, two, three, four, completely, and we are about to finish these two off. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I already, um, I had already copied the body from the, I believe this is the pawn, all the way over to the queen, and let's go ahead and fix this one. I'm gonna hit F to scale, and I'm going to move up here, go to the uh, vertex uh, mode. I'm going to select all of these and move them up to right about there. I'm going to select this one, this row, move it up. And I'm going to be moving up all these rows uh, just so that we can adjust the scale. Select this one, W to move, move it up, R to scale. Select this one, W, there, R to scale. And then finally this one, not much, there it is. We didn't even need to scale it. Uh, the top part is easy. We just even grab this one right now. Shift to clone it and that'll be that. Um, grab this one, go to face mode and then go to the perspective view. I'm gonna grab all these faces just so that I can hit F. And then I, I'd like to grab just these inside faces, hold down the tab and select all of these. Shift, extrude and R to scale. W, shift, and I am going to hit one to go to polygon view, and then I'm going to uh, adjust that one later. Extrude, R to scale. W, extrude, shift to extrude, R to scale. W, shift, R to scale. And then again, Extrude, R to scale. And then hit, um, now that we're done, hit number three again for the preview. And then we're done. Let's go ahead and clone this one here and see what we need to fix. Uh, it's basically the same shape, except this is a lot smaller and this is a lot higher. So let's go ahead to vertex mode. I'm going to select all these vertices, move them up, size them, uh, move these vertices, size them. Uh, let's go to let's go to polygon mode. So we can work just a little bit uh, faster. And there it is, we've done it. Uh, the only last thing that we need to model is this cross up here. And that's easy enough. I'm gonna do a, a box, a cube, put it right there, size it considerably, right about there. Move it into place, zoom in. Move it into place here and I am going to select, hit F here. Go to face mode and select all of the sides except the front and the back. And if you remember this exercise, uh, we did that with this where we selected everything but the front and back. Uh, and then you're gonna you're gonna uh, remember what we did here when we go Command E to extrude. 
uh, pull out in the normal and then keep faces to turn keep faces together off so that we get this cross pull it back just a little bit and then I am going to do command E again to continue activate the scale tool scale them up a little bit and then command E again and then I think I'm just gonna go all the way now and that's it that's the cross maybe just a little bit there we go uh, and that's all of it guys um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to object mode select this one hit 3 for the smooth preview and then look at everything and there it is that's all of them I'm gonna hide this select it hit H to hide and then I am going to if I wanted to move these W to move uh, I'm, I'm leaving that behind and of course this one I'm leaving the horse behind so we need to parent them I hit 3 uh, everything should be smooth including this one and these two so I'm gonna select the child first and then um, the parent and then hit P just P to parent child first and then parent hit P child child and then parent hit P child and then parent hit P uh, this one has no separate parts and this one and this one hit P that way when you select the body um, everything's parented 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 and then parented the last thing I'm going to do is select all of them create a new go to the rendering shelf a new blend material click on it uh, let's call this black piece and change it to black there we go and then um, I'm gonna select all of them make a, make a clone shift clone create a new blend material by clicking this and we'll call this white And then clicking on the color click the white and there they are the last thing I need to do is the board and I'm gonna click on a polygon plane uh, R to scale scale it up to where that little square is about the size of the base and then change go to polyplane change the subdivisions to 8 and 8 that's good I think I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and then I'm gonna move it out of the way to here Let's change the face mode and select every other face and right click on it assign an existing material we'll go with a black and then select the other ones this one shift select all of the rest right click assign an existing material go to the white and then there you have it um, let's go to object mode W to move put it right on top uh, and now we can do uh, command E to extrude pull along its normal and that's it we are done that is your chess piece the only thing left to do is obviously build a little table and put the right amount of um, pawns in there put them in their place and then we're done hey guys i hope that you've uh, found this video to be helpful 
Uh, and if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you, guys.